Hello, I am Minecraft Phenom08, and this is episode 91 of my series in which I will try to collect a billion iron ingots. In today's episode, I am going to be working with the mod Forestry once again, and I haven't worked with Forestry in quite a while. And today, I'm going to be working on breeding some trees. Now, first off, I want to set up an applied energistic system for this setup, so let me grab a few things. So first, we're going to need some terminals here. And I actually would prefer the crafting terminals. So let's see if I can't get a couple of those. And there's a reason why I'm grabbing two. Or not really a reason, but more of an aesthetic thing. Um, we're going to need some covered cables. Uh, so let's just grab a bunch. We're going to need some ME drives. Uh, two of those should be good. And then we are going to need a controller an ME controller here. So let's get one of those. I think we're going to need some, uh, f uh, what are they called? Glass fiber? No. It's quartz fiber, I think. If I can spell things right. Um, I'm not sure if I need, I think I only need like one of those. But we are going to be working over here. Now, as you can see, I have uh, I have flattened a bunch of land over here, and I have put dirt down. And this is going to be where I'm going to grow my trees. But over here is where I'm going to set up my applied energistic system, because this building is pretty much empty at this point. It's got some energy stuff in the basement, and it's got a solar panel up top. But other than that, this building is empty, so it's a good place to put an applied energistic system. What we're going to do is we're going to put the controller down here. And then we are going to put two drives right here. And I think to make this look as good as I can, I'm going to put two quartz fibers right there. And then my crafting terminals. Last of all, and I don't think I need any more of that. Last of all, let's grab uh, 20 of these guys to throw in here. And that should be perfectly 20. Now, after we get these in here, okay, we're a little bit of lag there. That's not cool. Okay. Wait, do I have that already accidentally attached? That's awesome. I didn't even plan that. Okay, so that's the incoming. Um, we should. What do I have this set up? 540 out. And I'm not sure how much we're losing up here. Wait, what? Okay, I know. I know what's going on. Okay, that's, f actually, I do need to rework this a little bit because that solar panel will not be active during the night, obviously. So I do need an energy cell here. Um, let's get an empty one because it will be able to be charged here. We can delete that. Um, let's put that there. Um, let's configure our energy cell before we hook it up. Um, we are going to be input from the left, output to the top, and everything else is going to be yellow. And that should do it good. Okay, so it should have enough energy to get through the night now, which is fantastic. Um, I don't need this connection because it's yellow. It's not inputting or outputting. So that's cool. Should have plenty of power for that applied energistic system. That's actually really nifty that it's just right there and I didn't really have to do anything for it. Now the next step here is to set up a little gingistry system. Um, basically the same as we have in this building right here. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to show you exactly what I have set up. Um, genetic sampler, transposer, and printer. Uh, advanced mutatron and mutagen processor as well as some other stuff which I'm not sure I'm going to be using um, 
I don't think I'm going to set up this part of the system yet. I may in the future. But for right now, I'm just going to stick with these five machines right here. Okay, yeah. I was going to say, do I have a mutagen producer? Yeah, I do. So I'm going to um, replicate these five machines and build them over in the gold building. And I'm going to be back after I have that all set up. Okay, I have my five genetic machines uh, rebuilt or... Uh, Duplicated I should say because I still have the other ones But now we need to get power to them and that's actually really really simple from what I've done because I can just use this battery right here and Actually because I've had issues with ME controllers before this might not be as simple as I thought I Think what we're gonna do is we're gonna move this guy we're going to move this guy to right here we're going to be output to the left uh, output to the top and output to the right and then we are going to have to get two more flux duct I think is what I'm gonna do actually I need uh, four total I think because I'm gonna hook that up I'm gonna input to the bottom here so now that should be getting power all looks well so far and then output to the right um, over here we have the mutatron and mutagen producer which the mutagen producer needs to get mutagen to the mutatron so we need some of the signalin plated fluid duct so let's grab a couple of those we're also going to need a servo so let's grab that and then we can hook these guys up and then we can get the servo right here. This isn't. Okay, there we go. So that should be good. Now, the last thing we need is actually, let's get some covers. Uh, we should need four. That should be real quick. Boom, 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 boom. So everything should have power now. Let's go up and make sure it sure looks like it um these guys over here are going to be a little bit hard pressed for power because unfortunately the signal and plated fluid duct does not uh allow as much uh throughput for power so now we need to figure out a few things here we need to figure out what we're going to use for mutagen here um i think i'm just going to use uranium ingots those work pretty well so let's throw those can I not use those I can't use those okay maybe I have to use the Elorium I'm pretty sure I can use the Elorium so let's go ahead and toss those guys in yep that works and that's good it looks like uh, we're getting more power than we're using which is fantastic next we need some genetic tools so let's grab those um, we need these guys and we need these guys, so let's just make the a bunch of them because they're super cheap. Actually, these aren't super cheap, but the other ones are. And then let's fill these guys up. At least the machines that need these. Um, that's the transposer. I don't need that. Okay, advanced mutatron don't need anything in there and then we'll just toss a bunch of extras in here that way we have them and then let's set up an importer for the genetic sampler because that'll make that a whole lot faster and then yeah I think that's good and we don't even need a, a speed upgrades on this because it's it's literally one item at a time it produces so let's get a covered cable Okay, that should be fantastic. So now we can start with some trees here. And let's grab a bunch of saplings. Um, let's grab the vanilla saplings first off. Birch. Apple oak. Uh, these are already converted, but whatever. Um, what else? Spruce. And... 
there's jungle somewhere and dark oak and acacia and jungle where's the jungle there they are okay those are the f the six i almost said five obviously i can't count the six vanilla trees let's grab some phyto grow or bone meal i could have grabbed either but i prefer phyto grow and then my analyzer and let's analyze all these guys so as you see um, most of these trees have the faster trait on the matures and most of them are also one by one however the dark oak are actually two by two um, let's see here okay so let's plant all these guys after we go to bed because the night is scary and dark let me in okay Okay, now for the planting. And I think I'm going to try to do most of my tree breeding over here. I will probably run out of broom. Or broom. Probably run out of room over here. That's perfectly fine. I'm not too worried about that. So let's... And I really have no idea how much space I actually have over here. Let's try to plot this out real fast. Okay, so I can't use that pattern. What about a three pattern? Or actually, it's a four pattern. Whatever. That won't work either. What will work? Nah. You know what? That'll that'll work ish. Because what I can do is something like this. And you know what? I don't want this sapling here. I want it not on the corner. Okay, let's let's uh set this up and try again so I have those done we need a red spruce right here um, jungle how many spots one two three four five something like five two three four five and then acacia actually let's yeah we'll put that there and then the dark oak can go over here, and it has four. So let's grow all these things. Cool. I said grow, man. You will do what I say. I gave you phyto grow. Okay, cool. Now we have all of those guys. That's fantastic. So now what we're going to do is I am going to grab some pollen... And you can do that through the pollen collectors, pollen collector kit. And it is made like so. It's actually, eh, depending on how much paper you can make, it can be a little expensive. But that's perfectly fine. I'm just going to say make a thousand. Can I make a thousand? I'm not sure if I have enough sawdust. Yeah, cool. So I'm going to grab um, a couple stacks of these, I think. And then let's grab a little bit of pollen from each one. And you grab pollen by just simply right clicking leaves. And I'm not exactly sure how useful the pollen will actually be since we're using Gendistry, but it's still nice to have. So let's grab it anyways. And then this is our last tree. Okay, so we can store all this stuff over here in this building right here so we have a bunch of pollen from all our trees we have a bunch of our saplings let's store our pollen actually let's uh keep one let's also store some phyto grow and now let's decide exactly what direction we're going to go with our tree breeding today
Uh, we're not going to get real far, but we can uh, get something done. Let's aim for... Let's just get a coast sequoia. Pretty easy tree to get. Um, I actually already have mundane larches. So let's grab our mundane larches. I think they are right here. Um, yeah, and those are like weird trees that you get from from the Void Botanical Miner, which is something I was messing with off camera. Um, okay, so let's plant a mundane larch sapling. And now I already forget. I need the bull pine next, which is mundane larch and red spruce. So let's plant and grow this bad boy. So one, two, three, four, five spaces between. Mundane larch. And let's grab some pollen from this guy as well. Okay, so that's five. Now we need a bull pine, which is a red spruce and a mundane larch. So let's... Let's put a, let's put one pollen and one mundane large pollen and let's get a red spruce here and then throw that in. And I think, cool, cool, cool. You know what, let's, let's just go ahead and get all three trees. So let's get two more of these guys and then uh, two more of these guys as well. Throw those in. Um, first we need the bull pine because that's the one I'm really interested in right now but we might as well grab the other ones um, just because we can right now it'll make things easier in the future if we ever need these other trees and hopefully they're all one by one otherwise I'll need more and I really have no idea if they are or not okay that is one by one that is one by one and that is also one by one cool 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 so now let's plant these guys. Okay, that looks in order. Two, three, four, five. So let's grab our fight to grow. Grow, grow, grow. Okay, that's kind of large. A little bit bigger than I was. Whoa, that one is too. I wonder if this thing will have gr room to grow. Okay, it does. Cool. So now what we're going to do is we're going to grab a grafter. And we're actually going to grab the industrial grafter. What a grafter does, it ensures that you get a sapling when you break leaves. So what we're going to do is we're going to break a few leaves from all of these trees right here. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this industrial grafter is a little bit more powerful than I thought. It's going to hack the heads off of all my, <laughs> all my trees. My goodness. Whatever. No one said I was good at, uh, good at making things look good. Yeah. Okay. So now I have a bunch of saplings of all these guys. Let's go ahead and also grab some pollen from all of these. So one, two, three, four, five. Okay, now we can proceed on to the... Hmm, the Coast Sequoia, which is what we are looking at. So, Mundane Larch, Bull Pine. Um, I need Mundane Larches. Go hack the head off of that tree. I only have one mundane larch. If I remember right, the Coast Sequoia is a three by three tree, so I'm actually going to need nine of these saplings. So, so that means I need more pollen. Bull pine, give me pollen, lots of pollen. Okay, that should work. Got plenty of pollen now. So let's get nine of these guys, nine pollen. Coast Sequoia. And then we can throw the rest of this in here. 
And the Coast Sequoia is a pretty cool tree. Because, actually, let's take a look at its traits real fast. It is the, it says it's the largest. It's not actually the largest tree. But it's the second largest tree, and it's 3x3. Three three. These trees are very, very monstrous. So, they are fantastic. And I did not pull that out. Now I just need to go ahead and tell this thing to make a bunch more of these. So I'm going to be back. This is going to take just a few minutes. I'm going to be back after I have nine of these guys made. Okay, I have nine of these Coast Sequoia saplings made. Let's go ahead and plant it. And uh, we're going to do one more thing. We're going to hack the head off this tree as well once we get it set. Okay, so the middle sapling will be here. And it will be surrounded like this. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and, like, hack the side off this guy. Because he might be in the way. And because I don't want to actually hack, like, the entire side off that one. Oh my goodness. It's out of charge. So, this thing actually runs on charge. Um, and I never showed the recipe. It's just made with grafter, some diamonds, and a power module. And you just charge it through, an uh, industrial craft battery. And we can go ahead and do that. Uh, actually, I don't want to. I don't really need to. So, this is a Coast Sequoia. Actually, I will need to charge this because I want some of these saplings. Uh, it's a it's a big tree. Big tree. Which is why I wanted it. Because it's just fantastic. So, let's go ahead and charge my grafter real fast. We got some batteries right here we can use. Um, this should be a prime candidate. And it charges, it charges pretty fast, which is fantastic. What I'm going to do is I'm going to hack the head off this tree. And I'm going to use the genetic sampler. Okay, how many saplings we got? Good. Um, I want a few more, so let's go ahead and hack more of the head off. Boom. Now, it probably doesn't even look too bad from the t from the uh, ground, or this tree from the ground. Because you can't even hardly tell that I hacked the head off the tree. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think the last part of this episode, is we're just going to throw uh, 64 of these guys in here. And that's to get a bunch of the genetic traits from this tree. And actually, let's go ahead and scan these guys. Let's go ahead and scan all our trees, to be honest because I want to see what kind of traits they have. Um, obviously, we want the largest trait. The 3x3 trait is also pretty good, but I don't think any of the other traits are really worthwhile, to be honest. It does have the fireproof trait, which you can see if I hold shift here, but that's not really a big deal. Let's see, what does this have? Uh, faster, but a lot of trees have the faster trait. That's a good trait to have anyways. Um, also, average saplings is better than what we have in most cases, or at least in that case. Um, let's see here, sapling. What, I haven't I scanned? Bullpine. Um, I just scanned a bunch of U's, so that's fine. Um, these mundane larches. And these sugar maples. So these sugar maples, low, average, average. There's actually nothing worthwhile here. And then bull pine. Low average average. Again, nothing worthwhile. And low average average for the mundane larches. Again, nothing worthwhile. So there are some trees that I want to work towards, but I'm going to do that in the next episode. For right now let's see what traits we have um sappiness lower we already have a three by three which is awesome uh the fireproof trait can be good it can also be bad at times it depends on what you're doing with the wood but that's cool um yeah i'm just gonna let those cycle through i think i'm gonna go ahead and wrap up this episode in today's episode i dove into forestry tree breeding and so far we have a coast sequoia which is nice but that alone is not where I'm going with this. I actually think I want to make a little ethanol. And I mean a little ethanol. Uh, through tree, forestry trees. And that means I'm going to breed uh, some more trees to get more good traits. Because certain, certain trees have like the best traits. 
or a best trait that I want to grab. Like the Coast Sequoia has 3x3. Three three. I wanted to grab that. And there are some other traits I want to grab for ethanol making. And we can do that in the next episode, maybe. So, right now, I have 546 million iron ingots, which is fantastic. And signing off, I am Minecraft Phenom 08, and I will see you next time.